Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are going to be making Mars a tidally locked planet so this could be quite an interesting one as we've already done um, Venus, we also did Earth, we've done um, Uranus and Neptune so yeah today um, we're going to be doing Mars as I think we could have some quite interesting results um, with making Mars because um, it's obviously not too um, close to the sun, it's not too far out, I wonder how hot it's... Um, closest part of the sun will get being tidy locked so that is what we are going to find out today guys but before we begin just a massive thank you to you all as always for the support the likes um the comments just it means the world it is absolutely amazing um, and yeah i just cannot thank you um all enough for that as well as we are just about peaking 12,000 subscribers now so yeah just a huge thanks to you all for that yeah i think right now we are less than um less than 100 away so we are really really close to it let's see if we can try and get for it um maybe maybe today or tomorrow i mean that would be absolutely amazing so yeah massive thank you to all to that um but yeah let's get into this so yeah what if mars was tidally locked all right so let's get straight to business so we're going to pause the simulation i'm going to head to mars straight away let's go to motion here right um and then we want to head all the way down yep that's right um no no position lock no that's not right then we're tidally locked there we go so we click that so there we go so now this face will always be facing the sun the other side will not so let's also get the uh, surface graphs up here so we're going to go ahead and add that um see if i remember how to do this there we go so that is its surface grid so or its temperature grid sorry so right um i don't think we need to do any of these other ones yep since there's none of that other stuff so we're just going to be keeping an eye on the um on mars yeah so just going to keep an eye on its mars's temperature sorry so right there we go right so right now mars is 100 minus 115 so pretty cold a little colder than what it normally is in the game but that's all about to change anyway because yeah mars is going to get um, pretty warm from doing this as well so i'm just going to also check its atmosphere quickly just to make sure everything is in all um, working order so let's go ahead and well, where is it it's on surface isn't it i forgot where all the atmosphere um stuff is there we go so yeah one mars of atmosphere just checking that's all in um all in good order right now i'm going to slow down time so we'll go to about um, yeah, 16 hours to start off with. We're going to click play and let's watch this. So there we go. Right, Mars. So we're going to start watching this temperature. So right now the coldest is about minus 94. Okay, so around there on the white area and then even colder, it goes into the minus 100s, which is a little more than what it normally is when it's spawned in. Maybe just because it's a safe simulation. But yeah, here we go. So we're going to let this speed up. And as we can see already, the coldest area is already warming up very, very fast. As it's, um, it's the only side facing the sun here. So we're going into the minus 50s, the minus 40s. So we're going to go ahead and uh, speed it up a little bit more. So there we go. Right, so here we are. Yeah, so now Mars is going into the positive temperatures. But the question is, how high will it go? Because when we did it to Earth, it got pretty hot. And Mars is obviously further out. But is it further out to where the point where it will be safe from getting too hot? Or will it be um, ultra hot for um, a long time? That's what we're going to find out. Like, will it, will it stay cold? Or, or a reasonable temperature or is it just going to skyrocket so this is looking pretty interesting right now with this um grid looks like a lot of it um has blacked out that's very strange so, so keep going here let's um, watch this so we can see here the very strange results from mars here so yeah there we go there so right now it's sticking around minus 20 degrees that is very very funny i'm gonna try the regular mars in the game as well so Right, if it let me spawn it in, of course, and menu lag is um, always a pleasure to deal with. But let's go ahead and uh, spawn that in as well. Actually, you know what I will do is forget that. We're going to go... I'm not sure that's correct. I think it should be doing more than that. So I'm just going to go to the good old regular solar system simulation here. No altered objects. Maybe because it's slightly modded or something. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't like that. So we're going to go to the regular old Mars. Then we're going to go to the yeah, motion. We're just going to go straight down. Tidy lock it. Right, there we go. So let's see if we get different results this time, or is it going to do the same and I was wrong? Let's go ahead and find out. But yeah, I reckon that Mars was slightly bugged. So here we go. Let's watch it now. So yeah, here we go. And it looks like already going into the 100 degrees. Okay, so my Mars was glitched. Okay, so um, theory proven. Good thing we wasn't sticking around there too long. Right, so yeah, there we go. Let's get that menu up. Let's, um, let's keep an eye on it. And I didn't really want to do that, but okay. So we've got um, the ice is actually appearing on it since it's the default Mars as well. Okay, so we've got a little extra stuff to um, keep our eye on here. So we'll just close the elevation and all of this stuff okay so we'll keep these menus up uh, and then obviously that one as well so yeah we'll keep these guys up and we'll keep an eye on how the planet is um, behaving so if we look behind all this ice has appeared out of nowhere i'm not exactly sure if it would do that in reality having just random ice pockets appear here but you never know right but yeah i'm not entirely sure that's right but if we look at the main area which is always facing the sun now we can start to see it's getting um it's getting pretty hot here we can see it's going into the 400s now which for mars that's pretty insane 
because obviously Mars is Mars. Mars, you don't really think of as being the temperature of Venus almost. I mean, that's hotter than Mercury by far. But let's um, let's continue to heat this up. And let's see how far we go here. So now it's going into the 500 to 600. So I reckon the surface of Mars will probably start to melt at this point. Yeah, there we go. So we can start to see that it's getting so scorching hot on Mars. Now it'll be a hot, hot desert rather than a cold desert. We can start to see that some of the surface is actually melting. That is how hot it is on Mars. So if we compare that for comparison, if we compare it to Mercury, which is probably the most similar object um, right now. So here is Mercury at 125 degrees. If we check in Mercury's stats here the hottest point on mercury right now is about 285 comparing that to mars is 920 that's um that's quite high and then venus as well 429 yeah mars mars tightly locked not really where we'd want to live um i think is the answer to that obviously there will be some colder areas so if we look right now the green area the blue it's usually the blue area where you want to sort of aim your cursor okay so the blue area We've got about 11 degrees there right now. So that is that very little area in between the dark and the light. This is where we'd probably have to survive if we did choose to live here. But I'm not really sure we'd want to anyway since all this ice around here. I'm not sure Mars has that much water on it, that's for sure. But I think it's just the game being a little glitchy with the ice on it. So yeah, keep, mainly ignore that. But yeah, there we go. So let's um, keep it going now. We're going to see how high Mars will go. Will it peak or will it continue going? So let's just lock onto the sun to make it a little easier. There we go. So now we can keep an eye on Mars's behavior. Let's just pause it and lock back onto Mars. So we can keep an eye on its behavior and see how it does. So the average temperature, remember, this is average, is about minus 30 right now. And obviously that's because obviously there may be this ultra hot area here. But remember, a lot of it's still in the complete darkness of minus 273 degrees. So obviously that's going to average around um, right there. So there we go. The vapor mass is also um, pretty crazy. That's also changed um, quite dramatically as well. But if we look at Mars itself, we can see here there's a super... So I'm guessing the area glowing that's probably the area it's getting scorched the most so if we just go ahead and pause head to mars again so i'm guessing that area is the closest point to the sun but i'm not exactly sure that's right um since I'd, I'd assume the closest point would be here somewhere but yeah i don't know why it's appearing up there may just be the way the game's programmed but yeah you can see here um if we can look again 1300 degrees that's um that's pretty hot for mars oh yeah pretty insane um indeed there so let's, um, let's keep it rolling now we're just going to go ultra, ultra super speed. Hopefully Mercury doesn't get shot out or something. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's just see how high it will go until it peaks. So there we go. Remember we did it with Venus and it went like 7,000 degrees. I can't remember what Earth went to, but it was also um, something pretty insane. Looks like Mercury did actually get launched out of the solar system at somewhere. But I don't know where that's gone. Yeah, Mercury. Uh, I don't, are there Mercury's? Yeah, Mercury's completely gone. But never mind, we're not focusing on Mercury. So yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a very loud vehicle outside. I don't know if anyone heard that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So it looks like Mars is peaking around. So just pause it. Th 1355. I think it sort of goes about 1370 at one point. Remember, Mars's orbit is slightly different. Um, as the bit where it is right now is a little further than its closest point. So if we just let it, um, if I just slow it down, yeah, so we can get it to its closest point to the sun. So around um, here. So this is going to orbit mode. The area it's in right now is a lot closer than the other side. So if we just watch it as it goes around the sun, so we can see here, as it, it yeah, the, the top temperature does cool down. So if we see when it gets um, to its further point, it goes to about 1300 into 1200. But once it comes around again, it does um, slightly warm up by the looks of it. You can see here 1260, so it's, it's, it's sort of fluctuating around 1250, 1260. But as it approaches the sun again, it does get a little more warmth to increase it. But it looks like it's still dropping. Maybe it's just because we're running the simulation a little slower. But yeah, you can see, roughly see it about 12,000. That's roughly how the maximum peak of Mars for being tidally locked. So yeah, there we go. So pretty insane stuff, as we can see here. Not as insane results as Venus, but that's to be expected, as we are about double the distance of Venus at this point. So if we just look at it compared to Venus, you can see here's Venus. So it's only got a 225-day orbit, remember. But Mars has got a 1.88 years. So if we could put that in days... 680 okay so if we compare 680 to about 200 so around three times is roughly um roughly around that it's just the um rounding up but roughly around there so you can see three times further away obviously without that greenhouse effect because obviously mars unlike venus does not have a crazy greenhouse effect so yeah that greenhouse effect just makes the tidal lock even worse but without that greenhouse there's less atmosphere keeping all of this heat in. So some of the heat can um, escape a little easier but even with it being pointed at the sun all the heat on the this side it's probably not going to leave anyway since it's constantly being shot up by the sun but yeah the other side on the other hand that's completely um completely frozen up um i don't know why that where, where that much ice has appeared from anyway i think it's just the way the climate mode works but 
yeah, there we go. So pretty um, interesting results from Mars. So maximum peak around 12,000 there. But yeah, the um, colder areas, obviously in the twilight zone, um, in between the day and night, they're just in that blue area. Is roughly where we'd want to be if we were on here. So yeah, roughly around this area here. That's why I'd want to um, stick. But yeah, let's um, go ahead and um, put Mars back to its normal sort of rotation. Now, so Mars, um, if you don't know, it usually takes around 24 hours to rotate. So let's just put it to um, 24 hours. I think there's like 24.3 or something. Let's just get um, the default Mars in here for some comparison. So uh, Mars is 1.03 days. So that is in hours. 24.6. Okay, never mind. So yeah, I'm slightly off there. But yeah, so yeah. 24.6 so there we go that's exactly what it had before so if we click play now we're going to watch as all this um climate returns to normal so right right now we're in the year 4136 we've got to remember that number how long will it take for it to cool down again so here we go so if we click play so we should start to see some um changes now so yeah 4136 remember that number so let's go ahead and uh, speed this up we'll just go uh, maximum speed we can see the blue area is starting to return as mars is starting to get its warmth back so yeah, there we go. So let's just go ultimate speed here. Okay, so it looks like Mars is roughly where it normally is at around minus 50 for its average. So yeah, we were in the year 2000, was it 2250? I can't even remember it. But yeah, we're, we're not that far ahead. I mean, I'd say around 100 years. My memory does not, uh, yeah, I cannot remember the number. I wasn't focused enough. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, but by the looks of it, it's still in the 4000s. So yeah, not I think it was about 4,100 we started. So, yeah, around, around 100 to 200 years, but I was playing it after it had finished. So, yeah, that'd be um, how long it took to repair that. But, yeah, there we go. So, Mars is pretty much back at normal now. Actually, no, never mind. It isn't. As we can see, 254. That's not right. So, let's go ahead and uh, keep going because that is very, very wrong. That white area should not be that hot. Let's get it back to what it should be because I am very silly. So, yeah, there we go. I don't know what Mars is doing right now. We're just playing it too fast. It can't handle it. Don't know why it's doing that. It is rotating, I think. No, 24 years. No, rotational. I didn't do the rotational period. 24 years? Yeah, that's not that's not exactly right. <laughs> oh, dear. No, 24.6 hours. Thank you. There you go. That's what we want. So no wonder it's heating up because it's taking so long to rotate anyway. It almost had the effect of tidy locking. So now it's how it should be. That's just me being a dum-dum. Now we can watch Mars return to normal. So yeah, I can forget that time completely. I'd already messed it up by not putting the right number in just because of the game pull it back to years rather than hours so that's um that's very annoying but yeah there we go so now we can watch as mars should hopefully cool down now so just look back onto the sun there so this temperature should um cool down within no time hopefully so there we go. it looks like when you run the simulation too fast it can't handle it properly we can see the water vapors masses going all over the place the ice thickness that's all funny it's mainly just the temperature we want to pay attention to but it looks like if we run it too fast it, the game doesn't like it so yeah there we go uh, but yeah, roughly Mars, I'd want to say, is yeah still too hot at 200 degrees on... Yeah, it's, hasn't, it hasn't fully cooled down, Mars. Come on. You want to go a little better than that, don't you? So 1.03 days. There we go. So yeah, that's, um, that's um, a little annoying why it's doing that. Come on. You can go back. I think it's just the game being glitchy, guys. Honestly, very, very strange. We see some of the orbits have all glitched out as well just due to the um, speed we've run out. I think Mercury must have plummeted in the sun because there was no orbits. Um going anywhere further out of the solar system so i don't know why it's doing that but mars yeah i have no idea why it's just stuck at well, if i just reset it to zero maybe that will fix it no no that just made it i just increased it so if i put it to um the, the coldest temperature so if i just do that no i didn't no let me click the number there we go so if i just do that so that that completely freezes it and apparently it put it up to 200 degrees okay i don't know i don't know what this game's up to today it's just it's um usual antics of being a little glitchy i don't know where all this ice has appeared from it's very um funny there but that's um yeah i think i think it's a little broken because mars shouldn't be heating up to about 100 degrees in the daytime I'm not exactly sure that's right i mean if we compare it to how it should be so let's just go back in here again so here we go so this is what mars should have returned to but i guess the tidy lock in it kind of upset it because it did take it off its tilt as well whenever you tidy lock an object it does take it off its tilt because right now Mars is on its tilt. Obviously, if we look at it, you can see the north and south are slightly pointy. But when you tidy lock, so let's just go to motion, it does rotate the object like this. So maybe that was the reason why it wasn't the same as before. But I'm still putting my money on that. I think the game's just a little glitchy um, and that's why it's doing it. But yeah, there we go. So Mars from before and after. This is how it should be. So about 40 degrees in the titanium. Our one was still showing 100, which isn't um, isn't correct. So yeah, there we go. So it should be around 30, 40 degrees at the hottest sort of points. But obviously in the nighttime, it's obviously going to cool down. 
So yeah, there we go. But remember, the average is still minus 44, so definitely not um, warm enough for us. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is what if Mars was tidy locked, guys. Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And what object should I do next? Maybe we should try Mercury. I'm thinking Jupiter could be quite interesting. So obviously, Jupiter's a lot further out than Mars. Would Jupiter warm up at all, or would it stay in the minuses? W would it get into the positive temperatures? Let me know um, down below if I should do that next. But yeah, I think that's the one I probably will pick um, if no one says anything there. So um, yeah, I think Jupiter should be next. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, massive thank you for watching today's video as well. Really, really means the world. And yeah, just thank you for all your support. Um, again, I know I say it a lot, but yeah, just thank you. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video as well, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers as we have. We are very, very close. We're within 100 um, now. So let's see if we can try and get that today or tomorrow. That would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.